Mask Obsession, where every day I review a new beauty mask. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Holika Holika Mugwort Pure Essence Sheet Mask. So first I'm just going to start out by reading a little bit about Mugwort that I found online. So... For food uses, mugwort can be used as an aromatic herb added to soups, stews, or stuffing for meat dishes, or infused as a tea. The herb is said to improve digestion. The young stems can be added to salad, and the leaves or shoots can be cooked as a vegetable. The plant is rich in vitamin C and unsaturated fatty acids. Herbal medicine uses. Mugwort is sometimes referred to as the women's herb, because it is used to promote menstruation and induce childbirth. Another common use for this plant was to treat stomach disorders, including stimulating the appetite, easing nausea, or curing worms. Other uses. Mugwort is sometimes used as an ingredient in perfumes and soaps. It has also been used as an insect repellent. The Irish smoked the leaves as a substitute for tobacco, which was said to stimulate poor appetites. So that's all I have from that website. And now I'm just gonna read what it says on the package. For description, it says a mugwort infused sheet mask, working to desoxify, soothe, and relieve stress, this pure essence sheet mask is infused with vegetable concentrate to rejuvenate and improve elasticity, and mugwort to soothe irritation. Miracle ingredient mugwort has anti-inflammatory effects and helps to reduce oil secretion, heal wounds, and puffiness while increasing the skin's resistance to environmental and aging factors. Okay, so per usual, I'm gonna start out by tanning my face with my Bior Blue Agave Toner. Okay, and it says to leave on for 10 to 20 minutes, so I'll check back. So it's been about 20 to 25 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and take the mask off. And overall, I like the mask. I definitely feel like my skin is more moisturized. Similar to the Halika mask from yesterday, though, I definitely felt a slight burning sensation the first couple minutes I put it on. It definitely wasn't as bad as the watermelon sheet mask but just something to comment on. But otherwise, I feel like my face is very moisturized and for only $2 a mask, I feel like that's a very reasonable price. So for this reason, I'm ranking this one, the Mugwort Sheet Mask, a 8 out of 10. Thank you so much for tuning in today, folks. Tune in tomorrow when I will be reviewing the Burt's Bees Renewing Natural Hydrogel Eye Mask. Thanks so much. Thank you.